This video explains how to calculate the variance of a list or a pandas data frame column using the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. In the first example of this tutorial, I will show you how to calculate the variance of a list object. And for this, we first need to create an example list, as you can see in the first lines of code. So in this case, I'm creating a list object called my list, and I'm printing this list object using the print function below the code box. So as you can see, our list contains different numbers stored as a list object. Now, if we want to calculate the variance of these elements of the list, we also need to load the NumPy library, as you can see in the next line of code. And after running this line of code, we can use the var function of the NumPy library, as you can see in the next line of code. So in this case, I'm applying the var function to our list object, my list, and I'm using the print function to print the output of this below the code. So as you can see below this code, the variance of our list object is the value 8.0. So in this first example, I have explained how to calculate the variance of a list object. However, it's also possible to calculate the variance of the columns of a pandas data frame. And this is what I want to show you in the next examples, starting in the fourth code box. So in this line of code, I'm first importing the pandas library. And then in the next step, I'm also creating an example data frame using the data frame constructor and I'm printing this data frame below the code box. So after running these lines of code, a new data frame is appearing at the bottom below this code box. And as you can see, our example data frame contains 16 rows and four columns, whereby the columns x1, x2, and x3 contain numeric values. And the fourth column, which is called group, contains group indicators. Now, let's assume that we want to calculate only the variance of one specific column, or more precisely, of the column x1. Then we can apply the var function to this column, as you can see in the sixth code box. So in this case, I'm subsetting our data frame to extract only the values of the column x1. And then I'm applying the variance function to calculate the variance of this column. So as you can see below the code box, the variance of the column x1 is equal to 90.666. In this example, I have explained how to calculate the variance of only one column. However, it's also possible to calculate the variance of all the numeric columns in our data frame. And this is what I want to show you in the next example, in the next line of code. And in this case, I'm applying the var function to the entire data frame. And I'm specifying within the var function that I want to calculate the variance only of the numeric columns. So as you can see below this code, a new output is returned, which shows the variance for the three numeric columns, x1, x2, and x3. So we already know that the variance of the column x1 is 90.666. And now we also know that the variance of the column x2 is 3.59 and the variance of the column x3 is 22.666. It's also possible to calculate the variance by the rows of our data set. So in the previous examples, I have calculated the variance by columns. And in the next example, I will calculate the variance by the row values of our data set. And we can do that by specifying the axis argument within the var function to be equal to one. And the remaining code is exactly the same as in the previous example. So as you can see below this line of code, a new output is returned, which shows a variance for all the three numeric columns by rows. So since our input data frame has 16 rows, the output of the var function, if we calculate the variance by rows, is also an output which shows 16 different variance values. In the next step, I also want to show you how to use our group indicator to calculate the variance by group. And we can do that by first specifying the group by function. 
And within this function, we need to specify the column which contains our groups. So in this case, our group indicator is called group. And then we need to apply the var function to the output of this. So as you can see below this line of code, another output is returned, which shows the variance for the three columns x1, x2, and x3 by the groups a, b, and c. So for instance, the variance of the column x1 for the group a is 135.066. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.